Why your Jinsi sucks. This is going to be a short video on what you're doing wrong and how to fix it, how Jinsi works and how to play her to the max potential every time. Jinsi's third skill, Illuminous Epiphany, scales with the Forte Circuit and not with the Resonance skill, which means you want to level her Forte before her skill. Now, here is where it gets tricky. While she is in incarnation mode, these animations are considered resonance skills. This is why, while in that form, more of his coordinated attacks from his liberation do not proc. Also, her third skill consumes all the further gauge you've built up, and for each stack you get a damage multiplier bonus of around 40% at level 8. So you want to have a full gauge before you use your third skill. How to do so? The easiest way we found is to start the rotation with Gene C to build up in condensants and switch to your other characters without using Illuminous Epiphany. This way, you can set up buffs and be ready to go once you switch back to Gene C. So, set up buffs from your party, like Verena, Rejuvenation Glow, Belle, Heron, Moonlight, and then come back to Gene C and do the full rotation, this time unleashing your third skill. If you have S2 Gene C, that would not be the best rotation, as you can start with your full incandescent stacks, but I think it's an easy way for a zero Jinsi havers to stack incandescents fully. Now, Yuan Wu is great for stacking the condensants, but we would not recommend building him unless you have already invested in him. Mordefi, on the other hand, is a great option, but remember that you have to stay out of incarnation mode to proc his coordinated attacks. Yin Lin is the last option, but her rotation is lengthier to perform and you might not have her. When it comes to building options, if you have Jinsi's signature weapon, the best build is to go with one Spectro and one attack percentage 3 cost. Alternatively, you can go with double Spectro. Also, from her weapon, you get a lot of skill damage, so for your subs that's focus on crit rate, crit damage, some energy regen up to 30%, and then attack percentage and liberation damage. That was it for this video, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!